Hey, what's up y'all? I just want to make a quick video, do a little tour of the truck. Uh, just kind of show you what I'm working with, uh, where it's at right now and where I plan on taking it. This is a 2020 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Uh, it is the XLT model. Uh, it's a 6.2 gas engine, six speed transmission. Uh, right now I've got about 50,000 miles on it. Um, so that's where we're starting at. So one of the very first things that I did uh, when I decided to turn my truck into a camper, um, I needed to still be able to use it as a truck. Uh, for work, for personal, whatever the case may be. I had a dual liner, hard hard bed liner in it uh, with a rubber floor. I got rid of that. I kept the sides. The sides are still a plastic and I went with a bed rug. So the bed rug, you can get just the bottom bed, bed rug and it's about three quarters of an inch thick and it's not actually like carpet. It's a poly type fiber. You can still you can spill stuff on it, you can use it, abuse it, and you can just spray it off uh, with a hose or a pressure washer, no problems. You can see here, I did keep the, the hard plastic sides. I didn't see any reason to get rid of them. Um, up front, same thing. All right, so let's talk about the bed real quick. The bed is approximately 76 inches long and 24 inches wide. I didn't want to take up a whole lot of space with the bed in the back, and I only made it high enough to clear the wheel well. Okay, so the bed I framed out of two by threes, and then I faced it with this uh, one by 10 pine, and I just took a propane torch and kind of kind of burned it to give it that, that effect. So just keep some essentials in here. I've got, uh, cooking, I've got hammocks in one, I've got uh, plates and silverware in one, uh, cut fans back there, chair, just basic camp stuff. Um, that's what I keep in here, extra shoes and clothes. So the bed is just three inch thick foam that I got off of Amazon. It came in a 24 inch width and the exact length that I wanted. Uh, so I didn't have to cut anything down. Three inches works perfect and I still have headspace and it's plenty comfortable. All right, up front uh, for power, I'm running a Jackery 240. Uh, that's powering my, my LEDs. And then I got some USB fans in each corner and you can see the LED light strips on the bed. All of that is powered by the 240 with no issues. Uh, very low power draw. The lights here on the bed are red only. I use those at night, you can't see the red lights. Uh, especially, I got 5% tint on all the windows. Uh, really hard to see in here. On this side, I have the cot organizer, uh, just random things in there, thermometer, bug spray, an extra dog leash, um, whatever. A uh, first aid kit and fire extinguisher. And then also carry a, and I also carry a Garmin InReach Mini 2 uh, for those times that I'm out of cell service. The LEDs, they're, uh, they're just basic LEDs off of Amazon. I put Velcro on the back of them and they stick directly to the headliner. So since we're talking about the headliner, let's talk about the shell. It's an ARE CX, which is their classic model. Uh, sliding windows on both sides and I ended up getting a sliding window put in up front. Even though there's not one on the truck, uh, I figured it would be good for some extra ventilation if I need it. On the outside here, we have the all top overland equipment, uh, six foot wide, eight foot long um, awning. Uh, I have not used this yet. I'm looking forward to it. It has great, re great reviews. Um, and it's just mounted directly to my crossbars on my roof rack. All right, let's talk roof rack real quick. So up here, I just have, uh, I didn't like the regular crossbars that went across. So I actually got super strut and cut it to length, 
all the way across and then put a basket on top. I like this basket, it's like three feet wide uh, by four feet long, plenty big enough. Uh, the case is the Apache 9800 from Harbor Freight and this will be um, recovery gear, uh, random tools or whatever, whatever I need it for. And you can see this right here is the rear camera uh, from Wolfbox that it basically replaces your rearview mirror with a LED monitor so you can see behind you. Hopefully that focuses. As you can see, the rear view mirror shows you from an LCD what's behind you. Wheels and tires, running uh, stock wheels. Tires are 275, 70, 18 BFG KO2s. It's my all time favorite tire. I love them. Uh, I've ran them on multiple trucks. Um, yeah, they just, they always, perform the way that I expect. Have some ditch lights mounted up on the front. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, as far as the truck goes. All right, so that's pretty much the the quick version of it. Um, not uh, not a whole lot to it. Pretty simple setup. Uh, the only thing I'm going to add is a diesel heater uh, before winter gets here. Uh, want to build something out inside so it's self-contained. I don't want to have to put the diesel heater outside uh, just in case self-camping or the situation dictates uh, that you need to be self-contained. So that would be nice. Um, I will definitely be adding that in the next few months. As far as summertime and air conditioning, I've looked at making one of the false tailgates and then just using the window unit like a lot of other people do, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to carry a generator with me and uh, we'll see how we'll see how that goes. I may uh, I may just change my mind on that. A couple other things that I do carry on the truck just in case uh, depending on where I'm going to be at is some recovery boards. I usually will throw those up in the roof basket and then uh, always have recovery gear with me straps shackles whatever I need. Um, we also carry a couple of roto packs, uh, one gallon fuel and one gallon extra water. Uh, I carry jugs of water as well. This is just backup, backup. And then one gallon, it's not much, but it'll get me, well, depending on where I'm at, 10 to, 10 to 15 miles down the road. Uh, the way I look at it is it's 10 to 15 miles less I gotta walk if I happen to be out of fuel. Okay, so for uh, cooking, I'm just using a Coleman two burner propane stove set up with a cast iron skillet. If I can't use a campfire, uh, everything else would get cooked. Uh, it's freeze dried meals or whatever, heating up uh, water with the jet boil, um, making ramen, noodles, um, whatever you can make with water on a jet boil. Otherwise, it's getting cooked on the propane grill uh, or, or the propane stove or campfire. I said before winter, I do want to get a diesel heater installed for right now, what I've been using. Even when I would uh, tent camp, when I had my rooftop tent on my old Toyota, uh, the Mr. Uh, Mr. Heater, the, the little buddy, worked work great. I charge the Jackery 240. I can use 100 watt solar panel that I always have in the truck. It actually does a really good job. I've only used it one time and that was in some filtered sunlight and it charged up the Jackery 6%. Um, in around an hour, maybe a little less. And that was through the trees at sunset um, in the evening. So full sun, I expect a lot better uh, out of that. So I'm really, really happy with this setup right here. And that just folds up and all your cords are right inside here. It's gonna be, that's gonna be it for this one. I've got a big trip planned coming up this week. Uh, I'm gonna be on the road for about probably six days. I'm uh, going to be hitting up several different states, doing some camping in some national forests, checking out some national parks. Um, who knows what else? It's going to be a good time. It's going to be me and uh, me and my boy. School's out for summer and uh, we're hitting the road on the last day of school and go have a little adventure. <laughs>